Now this is actually pretty cool. Spiky bits. Welcome back Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. And in this video, I'm gonna showcase a set of terrain that's a little different, but in a big way. So this is a pre-painted, ready to assemble set of terrain from a company called Jucosi, I believe is pronounced. I've been talking to these guys for a while. They wanted to send this to us to talk about, and I was kind of apprehensive to be quite honest with you. Uh, we showcased their uh, display case that they had because I noticed a lot of people were buying it off of our links on our site and I was like well what else do they produce and I saw this terrain set and I thought that was cool too and I reached out to them I was like hey I'd really like to showcase your display case and because I, I like I like how it's designed it's already got you know it's already magnetized you just put you have to magnetize your figures but you just put the stuff in it and, it, and it's good to go and it slides out and you can see it and it looks really neat and a lot of people have been buying them based off our, our link clicks and they said, hey, we're out of stock. And we're out of stock because of your article, so thank you. And I was like, awesome, that's good to hear. And But they're like, hey, we developed this set of terrain and we spent a lot more time on the set of terrain than that display case. And we'd really like you to talk about this. And I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, I, there's a lot of terrain sets, like full color, you know, pre-printed, pre-painted, whatever you want to call it out there. And we've talked about several of them in the past. And I, I you know, MDF is like, it's something that people either like or they don't, right? It's that hardboard and th this comes printed in full color. And they're like, no, it's designed to go together without any glue or anything like that. And and I'm like, okay, now you have my interest. I, I wanna see how you did this because that's, you know, to take the weight and take the, the wobbliness and all the things from anything that can happen at a table and be secure for people's miniatures, that's that's a big undertaking. So yeah, I, I can appreciate that you design you, you want and you design something to be that robust and to be that friendly and, and still be at a decent price point. And let's talk about that. So now I say a decent price point and you see, hey, that says $199 WTF, dude, that's a lot of money. I agree, it is a lot of money, 100%. But here's the thing. Uh, when it comes to terrain in general, when you compare it to plastic kits from Games Workshop, you've got kits now that are $85. You got combo kits that are that are 210, I think, uh, 220 or 230 for the Nachman terrain, I believe it was. And that was you still got to put it, you still got to cut it all out and put it together yourself and paint it. So this starts to like, oh wait a minute, maybe maybe 199 isn't that bad of a price once you start thinking about it. Now, now granted, I get it. This isn't for everybody out there. Some of you can make your own terrain. I can make my own terrain. I don't have time to make my own terrain anymore. I really don't. I wish I did. I really, really enjoyed making terrain. I enjoyed all the hobby aspects. But for some folks that might not have that time and they just like, yo, I just want a dope looking table. I don't want to put a lot of time and effort into it. This might be for you because check it out. Here's like all the different pictures let me actually go over to the site here so the, here's the specs on it now let's see if we can get in here and start looking at it so here's kind of the enlarged pictures contents wise you're going to get more than comparable products out there like there's comparable products out there but by, by different people in the hobby sure they are more than two hundred dollars and you don't get as much stuff you almost get more than double or i would say double plus you do get double you get double plus in this kit for less price than most of the other folks out there putting this stuff out, which is just a really cool thing, right? Just, just in general. And then here's kind of the specs on it. You can see these are the pieces you get. You, you get multiples of them as they show you right here. And then it gives you some ideas of like how it looks, you know, on the tabletop and things. We're gonna we're gonna show you and unbox this because I have one here and, and some of the parts put together. I'm not gonna be able to lay it out on a table because that room is a little full right now, unfortunately. My my studio room is uh, become a storage room, uh, so we don't quite have that option. But I do want to show you um, the unboxing and actually put some of the parts together and show you just how they made it so that you don't have to use glue. Here's what the box looks like when you get it. And this thing is this thing is massive and it's not it's not light whatsoever. This thing <laughs> I, I don't know how much it weighs, but it uh it caught me by surprise when, when it came in. I was like, oh what is this? I actually didn't expect it just as quick because we had talked about them sending me this and I assumed they were gonna send it to me from you know their manufacturer or something overseas. And it literally came two days later. So they have all the Amazon warehouses stocked with the stuff already, ready to go. 
uh, which is really cool. And here you can see better, you know, like what you get inside the box, 36 pieces total. And, you know, like I said, you get double plus on all this stuff than most people, um, which is just crazy. No glue required. That was, you know, that was the thing that got me. I was like, how is that even possible? And then let me move my light out of the way here. When you get this bad boy opened up, it's, you're like, well, you know, did it get damaged? No, it didn't. Cause they got like this half inch thick foam in here, which is really smart. It's basically encased in a cooler of foam and they've got little meat slots for your big meat hooks here to actually pull out all of the uh, pieces here, which, you know, just as deep, this is like four, four inches deep of these pieces. So I really like that they have instruction manual too because a lot of times in products we've reviewed here on the channel too, they don't come with an instruction manual and it, it's a large undertaking for anybody to do. And the fact that they have it in here is really cool. I mean, even just a sheet of paper with the QR code to something like this online would be super helpful too. And I think a lot of brands uh, sometimes overlook that. But anyways, so you get kind of the gist of how many different pieces are gonna actually come in that big stack that I just showed you, which we'll get back to here in a second. But then once you get this open, it basically folds out. It's not like a booklet per se. I guess it's more of like a like a leaflet. It's going to show you all the stuff and it's going to show you. Um, and this is probably the only thing I don't like about this whole setup, to be quite honest with you, is that for each building, you're going to need parts from all of the different uh, punch out sprues. Uh, or cards, so to speak. So that's like the one thing is you'll find yourself kind of flipping back through all the different sheets uh, to, to get all the different parts you need for to make specific ruins, which like I said, that's the only thing I really found that I don't like about this particular setup, which is just kind of wild in general. So here's what you'll need for the three story ruin, which you're gonna get six of these, just like the uh, six, the, the smaller one there. Um, and I've already put these together, so I'm just gonna kind of show you a little bit like of how they go together. The very important thing on both of these is that you put the piece at the bottom, your foundation piece, that you always find that one, um, because it's gonna have these little uh, notches in the corner, and you can see it right here, that you'll, which one's which, so you shouldn't mess it up, but if you do, you just know that, hey, the, you know, the, this one's the floor, and that one's the top, so you won't mix that one up. But just keep that in mind for both of the, both of the ruins there. Um, and then it's pretty self-explanatory, and, and kind of ingenious, like how it all locks together, uh, and I'll show you these little inserts here, these window inserts, which I think is also a really neat um, kind of feature of this and a little bit ingenious as well. And then here's the two story ruin, which goes together uh, basically the same. So just keep in mind that the bottom piece right there is gonna have the, the two little uh, cutouts for the flooring. Um, the container is mostly contained on the same sprue or the same card. And this thing, you know, they could have really phoned this in um, but, and as I'm going to show you in a second, the design is very well done because this frame on the bottom here locking in gives it a ton of stability and just the way they've designed everything and the tolerances, which I'm also going to show you makes it so it's, it's, it's really hard for it to just kind of, I mean, eventually over time, years and years and years and years, or if you maybe take this apart and put it back together, which you could do, um, I think unless one of those two things happen, you won't find that parts wiggle apart until that particular case happens. This, this is going to be very sturdy and I'll show you why. And then you've got the forest or area or whatever you want to call it. Um, this probably was my least favorite to, to get together. Um, and I'll show you why. I mean, it's easy to put together. It's just a little bit looser than I would like, like these little notches on the bottom, which I'm about to show you as well. They aren't quite, the tolerances aren't quite as good as, you know, I think the rest of the, uh, the stuff that they did. So let me, and I, all of it's already fall, all falling apart. Um, but let me grab one of these here and we'll take a closer look. So here's an example punch out card and I've already accidentally just kind of punched that out. Um, th these, you don't need any tools. You don't need anything. You just literally just do, like I said, just punch it out. Um, you want to be careful, of course, like these, these areas here that are a little bit tighter. Um, you just can't just like, you know, get all crazy with it, but you really won't need any, anything really. I mean, you, like I said, you can glue this stuff, but you don't need to. And if you, you know, you just need to like kind of stash something away, they will kind of plug back in together if you wanted to like reassemble and stuff, but they're going to kind of slide out once you do punch them out. So I don't, I wouldn't say maybe that is a good idea to store them. Um, I think you just put them together and that's kind of it. The first thing I wanted to show you was these grates and these are great, get it? 
uh, because you don't have to punch out all these parts inside of here. And at first I was like, oh cool, you can denote your objective, you know, and everything like that. But they actually sell separate objective markers and these are a little bit too small, you know, to assume that you have a 40 mil base in there. They're only about seven inches in diameter. Um, so that's kind of a drawback, I suppose. But I think what these are in, they're also not, not flat either, about an eighth of an inch on either side. So these are more meant to kind of break up the, um, you know, the area, like if depending on what you're playing on, they're just to give you a little bit more depth. You don't even have to use all six. You could use them to denote objectives, but you don't have to, or, or they're not like the standard 40K size, I guess. Um, but it's just something cool that's in there that I thought was pretty neat. Now, here's the second thing I wanted to show you. These are the crates. And like I said, they could have really phoned it in on the construction of this, but these are really sturdy. Like you don't have to worry about anything with this. This is no glue, absolutely no glue. Like I can take this apart. And the thing I want to talk about too, the, the tolerances are so good on this that you literally have to use two hands to do anything. Like this will not wobble apart. Like you have to cognizantly go in and try to take it apart or adjust it. And it actually put a little bit of stress over here. So I really need to remove this at the same time. But you get the idea, it's very robust and it just won't pull apart in my opinion. I don't even wanna to try to do this on camera because I already messed it up because that goes in there. But there we go. So yeah, as you can see, it's actually pretty tough and I really, really like how they did this design and yep i shouldn't be doing this on camera at all um the top actually goes together pretty well too and there, there isn't going to be any torque going back and forth um the top actually comes right off but the fact that they have these little notches right here kind of keeps it all together so like i said really 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 well thought out and the two tops well when you and i'm not an idiot trying to do stuff on camera i shouldn't the two tops lock together if you really wanted to create like you know, some impassable terrain or something like that. I, th I feel like it's perfect. Third is their bases of forest here. And these, like I said, they kind of, unless you keep everything super flat, they will fall out. Like, you know, don't pick this stuff up and try to move it, but you really shouldn't be picking stuff up and, and moving it mid game either. So I feel like maybe that's not a fair criticism, I suppose. Um, the pieces themselves are, do go together. They're a little loose at the top, but they go together pretty well. Like they, they kind of do this tongue and cheek, um, tongue and groove, I guess uh, is the actual term. They do this tongue and groove design right here, which uh, definitely is very, very um, good strength. But because the strength is all at the bottom, the, the tops might flare out just to, just a smidge, just be aware of that. But like I said, if you just need to take it apart, you know, to roll a tank in or something like that over top of it, you can, um, but when you go to pick it up, you know, you probably wanna wanna remove these because they will they will kind of uh, fall out a little bit. Um, they're, they're just not locked in to these pieces here and they are very, very, actually when I figure it out, they are very, very removable um, as far as that goes. So just be aware of that. And then next we have uh, the small ruin, I guess they call it. And this thing's cool. Um, it does use the same pieces as the larger ruin, uh, like the, the corners and stuff right here. And uh, probably like a, a piece of criticism is maybe, maybe these don't need to be a square, I suppose. Like they could be kind of cut like right there. Um, Cause if you're punching them out, maybe that's okay. Cause they can kind of do it here, but it doesn't have, you know, it still kind of has a sharp line. So, but what's cool about it is you can definitely put your models in here and you don't have to worry about your models, you know, unless you're hitting the table, which shouldn't be hitting your table. Um, even if you put a little bit of stress on here, like, oh, I accidentally bump it. They're not gonna go like tumbling down or anything like that, which is really hard for, to, we haven't seen something like this before. Some people use magnets, some people use Velcro, you know, there's there's different options out there, but just to see this, you literally put it, you, you basically push fit it. It's, it's easy to build, I guess. Um, and the way they do it is they got these little support brackets right here. Like again, you have to use two hands. You, this isn't gonna wiggle out. Like, you're not, you're not gonna have to worry about any of that. This just wiggles out or pulls out and then you insert these into the, the brackets right here and then it literally locks in. So through, it's basically like held it permanently in place with these little clips. Same thing with the sides here, but these are more for um, a stabilizer uh, to keep it, to keep the flooring on. And that's why those little bottom corners are so important um, to kind of keep that the, this locked into here from the underneath. 
Um, and then uh, you got these ruin parts right here that do the same exact thing because if it's not like the long piece, well, you just have this little insert right here um, that locks it in. So that way you can have longer stuff and just a little bit of rubble. But this, this um, straight edge next to this like busted edge kind of looks a little weird to me. So maybe, you know, maybe there was a piece that they could do, like have that on and you just have to remember to line it up. I don't know, maybe something like that. That's just, you know, some constructive criticism. And then the full uh, larger three-story building is is awesome like this thing is really cool same everything same features like it snaps in it locks in you know it's this tall it's super strong like i'm going to the camera is actually not attached to this table so you know i can push the table and the dude's the dude's not falling off like and it's it's pretty strong like i could put larger models up on here and i don't feel like there's any any problem with that and then you know you, you can obviously see guys through the windows right there and that's where they came up with those little inserts that you see right here i'm sure the little line of sight blockers these are neat because they give you a bunch um not that you probably use them all and they just they just pop in you just see this little um it folds and then it just pops in and you have the folds pointed towards the back and then it keeps it flush with the front and it's genius like it's literally genius and it's it looks great you don't even notice it at first you're like oh it's blocked oh okay cool and then you know you want to play with all of them open you can do that too and it's just poop right in it's crazy cool like how how neat and how how much time and effort uh they really put into this so overall i think uh i think while 200 dollars uh, the current price when we reviewed this is a lot of money I don't feel like it's a lot of money for what you get in the value and the design and the, and the effort that went into this um, that makes it so unique and the value, of course, over the other sets that are that are similar out there. You know, the pre-printed HDF, you know, um, terrain sets. Uh, just the fact that you can punch this out and, and, and put it together is the, I've never seen anything like it. And the fact that it's so sturdy is is really cool. And it really impressed me. And I'm, I'm glad they sent me this box uh, to kind of talk about and share with you guys out there because I think it's a, a really good set of uh, terrain. So thank you so much for watching our unbox and, uh, and build of the new Joe Kosi um, Battlefield Battle Zone Creation Kit. I guess this is their, their ruins. Maybe they'll come out with more depending on how well this does. I, I hope they do. Um, and they have a ton of products over on their Amazon store. They're they're all here in the states, ready to ship out. The you know the two within one to two days, probably depending on where you are here in the states. Overseas, I'm not exactly sure, but you know definitely click the links in uh, the comments and uh, the um, description of the video as well, just to kind of get an idea for yourself there. Um, but yeah, can't say enough good things about it. Follow the links because they don't have an actual web store, uh, but they are on Amazon doing fulfillment. If you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep whether you cancel or stay on. Just It's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spiky.